Hello, good day everybody, my, my dear students of grade 8 research. So today let's continue our discussion on the, the research process. Last time I had this video, we were discussing on the, the different parts of, uh, not parts or uh, steps maybe of the research process. So uh, we have mentioned there, identify the problem and so on and so forth. So, uh, so far our discussion is... Uh, still on the identifying the problem okay so let's proceed let's uh, go to the parts first I mean steps before we will proceed just a short review so we have here the different steps in the research process we can call these parts also identify the problem review the relate related uh, review the literature formulate the hypothesis identify the data needed collect data analyze data summarize results and draw conclusions or identify implications as mentioned, so far we are in this uh, step here. We have not yet reached uh, the other step. We're still on the identifying the problem. Because uh, I think this is the most, imp uh, not Im most important, but uh, the prerequisite to other steps. No? Once we, s we establish the, the problem, mm, things uh, will uh, be, uh, let's just say, mm, easy or not easy but uh, it will start the study or your research project smoothly once you have really identified a good topic for your or problem for your research project or science investigatory project and then let's continue to where we left off the uh, on the previous video it's on slide number 24 topics to avoid so we've done this one already and so with this one and we're we are on slide 25 okay so we have here now what makes a good question for an investigation okay so what are those uh, guiding questions kumbaga, no? so that we can say that our uh, research problem or our topic is uh, a good mm, problem or topic for an investigation or for an experiment no? experimentation okay so we have here for a good question you should answer yes to every question okay so i i uh, uh, i i i would like to show my face but uh, it's lagging so i will not show my fa my video my camera so just bear with uh, my discussion first is the topic interesting enough to read about then work on for the next couple months okay so it's important it's important that uh, your problem research problem or topic you have chosen is out of your interest okay so that uh, along the process uh, you will not uh, lose focus of of the task to be done because uh, the research will usually will take uh, a minimum of one month one month and a maximum of s uh, six months because that is the criteria in uh, a junior high school uh, science investigatory project that your study should not uh, be more than six months okay that's the m maximum number of uh, duration in uh, doing the the uh, research project <coughs> next if ye yes here so it means uh, 
you qualify I mean your problem qualifies for uh, for the initial um, initial uh, say criteria to to be uh, a good question or a good research problem <coughs> next can you control other factors that might influence the variables so that they do not interfere I and inter interfere with your experiment? Interfere with your experiment, I mean. Okay. So, uh, so, uh, yeah, no? Is the, the variables controllable? So if yes, so that is a good research problem. When I say variables here, we are referring to control variables. For example, factors that may affect the validity and reliability of your results. No? That may be in the part of the independent variable, independent variable, control variables. Next. Can you find at least three sources of written information on the subject? Okay, so uh, uh, your your study or your your research problem, you must have uh, heard of it or or uh, may read uh, about it from some sources. Okay, so even our idea, we have our idea own idea but actually uh, if going to find uh, literature searches of our idea uh, that is uh, found in uh, some sources websites uh, books magazines journals etc so uh, if it has uh, at least three written information of, on, of your problem that is a good uh, problem Next, can you measure changes to the important variables using a number that represents a quantity such as count, length, width, weight, voltage, time, etc.? Okay, so mm, yeah, this is uh, in short, uh, are, are the data of your study projected data no of your study measurable so it's very important or can uh, can be quant uh, quantifiable no? quantity okay of course uh, your, our quantitative data we can reinforce it also with qualitative uh, data observations but uh, but before qualitative let's let us establish first a quantitative uh, data because that's uh, very important no, in a research or in a research problem for it to be a good research problem or a question good question okay then uh, i will show my face just to uh, entertain you and not entertain but just to uh, show you that uh, i'm uh, trying hard to to present this one maybe Okay, so let me just uh, just uh, say here, like that. Okay, so there you go. Then let's continue. Next, another uh, guide for you to to determine whether your question or problem is a good question for an investigation. Investigation again, you should answer yes to every question if it is good question for an investigation so or just as good is your variable one that's uh, that is simply present or not present okay so for example lights on in one trial then lights off in another trial use of fertilizer in one trial then don't use fertilizer in another trial so that's very simple but very uh yet very effective in determining no the effect later on or the difference between uh, their dependent variables 
Okay. Yeah. Next, is your experiment safe to perform? Of course, uh, that's based on the ethical standards for our previous videos. So, it must be yes here. Next, do, do, do you have all the materials and equipment you need for your project? Or will you be able to obtain them quickly at a very low cost? Do you have enough time to do your experiment more than once be before the science fair? Oh, this is very important. That's the the feasibility side of the study. Of course, uh, as uh, as mentioned in the previous videos or uh, presentations, lessons, that uh, our study should be uh, community based. Uh, when I say community based, uh, we should uh, as much as possible all the materials and equipment that we use are found in the community. And at a very low cost, no, we don't want our study uh, that uh, that is uh, expensive than the practices and the product that already available in the market that we're comparing to. So, yeah, we should be uh, our study should be uh, made to live physical or uh, IR, RAM or robotics intelligent machines. Must must should should be. Mm. Mm, should be low cost I mean cost effective and efficient in terms of its function than the uh, uh, let's just say comparable or even better than the, than the already existing commercial commercially available uh, products that is comparable to your gadgets to your study to your uh, procedures you are uh, uh, doing a uh, research project of next do you have enough time to do your experiment more than once before the science fair that is already part of, of course uh, your study is is uh, in is uh, should to establish validity reliability of the study I mean reliability of the study you, you should have uh, done your experiment in replicates or in how many trials so the the list is three trials for and get the average to establish reliability of the results okay next the introduction I'll just have to turn off my camera for this portion here so that you will not be distracted by uh, the strange face on the lower portion of the presentation so the introduction so we were we are on the so in in the research process let's just, let's just go back to to the slide i think we are on the just a few review just sort uh, some uh, some sort of short review so we are in the review of the related uh, review the literature okay i think that we are here in this portion when it comes to introduction it's part of introduction before introduction i mean before the literature we have a uh, little introduction of the study and some sort of things like that so the introduction is uh is part of the the guidelines for conducting a research project or science investigatory project uh, according to uh, IMRAD C format or we say IMRAD C there it's an abbreviation for I for introduction M for methodology uh, D Im uh, IMRAD uh, R for results and uh, discussion IMRAD that's RAD results and discussion and C for conclusion so IMRAD C no? I M R A D C so we are in the introduction so what what's this introduction all about so in the introduction this is where you can find the following uh, important parts so the introduction the first se section in the introduction, first uh, say paragraph, 
contains a description of the research problem. So this is where you describe your research problem. Next, a brief literature review of past studies performed on rela related research questions. So you should have mentioned also or cite, uh, re written there, uh, literature review, past studies which related to your question or research problem. And a rationale or rationale, rationale for conducting the study and succinct statement of your experimental hypothesis. Okay, so you should also mm, clearly stated your uh, hypothesis there, you know, experimental hypothesis. Okay. Or your, uh, or as to how your study is conducted or methods. I mean, uh, the rationale for conducting the study. Why do we conduct this study and things like that? So, this is the... Uh, usually how we uh, craft the introduction. First, rationale. Second, statement of the problem. So, it should uh, be found in the introduction. Hypothesis. Nakaraja, uh, depending on how do we state the hypothesis. If it's a uh, it during the proposal, you have a different uh, tone of into the introducing the hypothesis there than the uh, finished uh, research. So that's different. Theoretical and conceptual framework you mentioned there, and significance of the study. Okay, so the impact of the study into the its contribution to the community, to the field, things like that. Scope and delimitation, of course, and definition of terms, depending on the study point which I mentioned, if there are limits to your study and there are important terms to define. Okay. So, I have here uh, an example, but it's not shown on the slide. So, maybe I'll just have to send this to your GCs. So, um, okay, I'll, I'll show my video. So, uh, I have not uh, included this in the, but I have here the introduction. Oh, shall I wait? So, I have here the intro uh, example of introduction. I'll just send this, because uh, I don't have soft copy for this. This is the previous studies of uh, the previous students of the STA grade 10. So we have your introduction. I'll just read to you such a just to for the sake of uh, a, an example. I just read the first two sentences. The title is Effectivity of Oregano and Pomelo to Inhibit Clemsiella pneumoniae. So I'll just read a few in introduction here. Pneumonia is a significant problem worldwide and remains one of the major causes of death among children younger than five years old. So that's the statement, uh, somewhat the, the problem there and the rationale. Huh? The organisms is commonly found in colonized microorganisms but it's dominant agent for lethal infections. Okay, so I mentioned the problem is mentioned here. Okay, so that, that is how the introduction is... Uh, presented so that may be uh, two to three pages minimum mix minimum maximum depending on how you present it but usually on average uh, most of the researchers I have uh, read and critics are uh, two to three pages for the introduction but depending on how you're going to present it oh. but uh, so far uh, that's the only uh, uh, not really a uh, rule that you will have two to three pages but uh, that's the usual practice no? depending on how you would how to how you present your introduction okay so we have here a strip comic strip the biggest risk in this study is just reading the consent form Okay, she have Siguro ang consent form niya ay parang uh, human participant study because it's very uh, 
na the requirements for human participant study is is lengthy and uh, laborious compared to other studies that are not you that does not have human participant next Okay, so uh, what's, uh, what's your study? Significance of the study, scope, delimitation, and definition of terms. So, uh, in, the, in the introduction, of course, uh, should uh, motivate the reader to continue reading. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, but this is a scientific, uh, uh, scientific work, scientific uh research so let us avoid uh, uh, adjectives uh, which are which are uh, which are describing a statement or the data in uh, say sensationalized manner no so in uh, in social social research is different from uh, scientific research because scientific research is exact and uh, definite terms are used okay say for example uh you you s state that the formula is so s super effective in reducing the number of so uh that is uh, not i mean that is highly discouraged in re uh, scientific uh, re research writing scientific research okay so just be careful of adjectives in a okay so uh, depending on the the art of the or of the approach of the student researcher I, on how they they are going to motivate the reader without using too much uh, sense uh, without uh, se sensationalizing the the research okay Next, includes the variables, what is perceived problem, what is the perceived problem. Okay, so meron siyang uh, breakdown globally, nationally, and locally. No? So you will start with the global implications of the problem, of the research problem, national, and then uh, uh, local uh, issues regarding your problem. So when say local issues, it's uh, the community, no? say uh, Tagum City or Davao del Norte or uh, say Mindanao. So that's still uh, part of uh, local issues. Okay. National Philippines. Next, establish the urgency to conduct the study. Okay, so in the the introduction, you should have. Uh, uh, Strongly, I will uh, use uh, adjectives. In strongly, uh, I mean, established why there is a need for this study to be conducted. Why do we study this? Uh, why do we? Why do we scientifically investigate this project? Okay, should be established in the introduction. Next. Okay, language of research. This is a uh, an introduction from the book. So uh, a book is the is different from uh, a, a science investigatory project. Uh, your your paper, no? So sci scientific paper than uh, than a book. So uh, let's just. Uh, skip this one uh, let's just read for the sake of the discussion but this is a book no so do not compare this as the as to the choice of words here to a scientific paper no? it's different and uh, i just have to uh, turn off my video so that uh, you'll not be distracted Oui. okay wait Okay, so we have here. Then uh, just turn it off. If you command the basic vocabulary of generic generic research, you are far more likely to choose the correct theories, concepts, or methods to use in your work. By grasping the core tools, 
used in research, much of the mystery that can, sur can surround it begins to disappear. Okay? Time is not a guarantee for good scholarship, but knowledge of the nuts and bolts that make it up can go a long way to, you to ensure that the tools of research are used properly. If you have the right tools and you know how to employ them, the research process becomes a great deal easier and quicker. So, uh, what's the point here is that uh, uh, once once you have the once you have the the nuts and bolts, the right tools, and uh, the right uh, understanding of the research process, uh, conducting the project is uh, easier and quicker. Next type of questions. Uh, this is uh, referring to research questions, uh, because uh, uh, before you're going to uh, to have a research title, what's the the first thing you sa you establish is the research question first, the research problem. Okay. Types uh, the research question or the questions can uh, can be descriptive. When a study is designed primarily, what is going on or what exists? Okay, relational. When a study is designed to look after to look at the relationships between two or more variables. Okay. So uh, relational, yeah. R relationship between two or more variables. Then causal, cause and effect, no? When a study is designed to determine whether one or more variables, example, a program or treatment variable, causes or affects one or more outcome variables. Okay, for example, uh, 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 say descriptive is uh, uh, just a simple uh, study that you, you want to find out how things work, things like that, no? A relational man if you uh if you, if you have uh, this uh going to find for example you're going to find out is uh, blood pressure is related to intelligence i'm just i'm just saying for just for the sake of discussion but that's not really uh i mean uh, we don't have related literature on that uh, just for the sake of the example and causal say for example what uh uh if effect effect of fertilizer on plant growth of course though no? but uh, again that's very uh, overused on uh, the riches do not uh, use that one as your research study no? next type of relationship oh. may pa ang research na relationship ang lang ka ang mga estudyante na to na ba may mga relationship wag muna no? mag focus muna tayo sa research so types of relationships, no? Relationship refers to the correspondence between two variables. When we talk about types of relationships, we can mean that uh, in at least two ways, at least two ways, the nature of relationship or the pattern of it. No? So when we mean the nature of relationship, correlational relationship, okay? Two things perform in a synchronized manner. So for example, increase in uh, intelligence is attributed to the increase in uh, protein diet, for example. The correlation. Then causal relationship, no? Cause and effect, yeah. Next, types of data. Yeah. So, uh, in a uh, science investigator project, the data falls only either quantitatively or qualitatively. So, quantitatively, in numeric, numerical form, okay, so we have, a uh, say, what's, uh, measurements, of course, no? Ki uh, mass, weight, height, things that can be measured. Qualitative data can be much more than just words or text. Photographs, videos, sound recordings, and so on. So, qualitative data may be observation like color, change in color, so textures. Okay, those are qualitative data. And uh, say photographs, videos, observations. 
Next. Okay, so, uh, uh, next is designing appropriate research methodology. Okay. So, in the research methodology, uh, we have here So let's just uh, sort of review here. So let's go back to our uh, research process. Where are we in the research process now? At this very moment of our discussion, we are in the wait. Okay, so we're we're done with the re review of the li literature. So we're in the. Mm, research design so identify the data needed and collect data the hypothesis uh, that's where the the good question uh, yung sa question na mention natin yun those part this is those are part of the hypothesis already so introduction we have your review oh uh, yeah so we have your type of questions in the per review uh, i mean in the hypothesis types of relationship data so uh, this is collecting data no? Quantitative, qualitative data. Then next is the uh, methodology. If we are in the IMRAD C, this is uh, the where the part uh, of uh, reso uh, IMRAD methodology sa M tayo. So what is uh, included in the methodology here? The context and procedures of the research investigation. So, uh, how do you uh, how do you conduct the experimentation? The research design use. How are going to treat the data? Sample subjects of the study. You're going to mention uh, what are the subjects of the study. The respondents, maybe you know. Instruments needed to collect the data. Okay, so materials and uh, equipments needed. Procedures to data collection. How the data will be collected. Tools and procedures for de data analysis. Uh, how are the data uh, statistical treatment of the data? Okay, so this is where the, the tools and procedures. Okay, so research design. Research design provides the glue that holds the research project together. Wow, glue. No? A design is used to, stru to structure the research to show how all the major parts of the research project, samples or groups, measures, treatments or programs, and methods of assignment work together to try to address the se central research question. Okay. So, uh, the elements of uh, research design is the following observations or measures treatments or programs groups then assignment to group and time okay, we will discuss that as we go along so uh, the types of design so is random assignment used if it is yes so random or true experiment if no is there a control group or multiple measures so if no non-experimental design if yes quasi-experimental design okay quasi-experimental is uh, it lacks uh, random assignment but still has control group and multiple measures okay next the key task in developing your methodology and methods of investigation is to define uh, the aims and objectives of your project. Okay, of course, uh, uh, your your methodology should always uh, a way to answer your research problem. No? Okay, your objectives. You must fully understand the research problem. Articulate the questions clearly and be uh, realistic about the data requirements and ask what is really relevant. Oh, okay, so 
that's why it is very important that you're going to establish uh, identify the research problem clearly okay so that uh, you will know what you're going to do when uh, it, it goes to this part of the research process to the methodology okay. next So, uh, guide questions in uh, in uh, in the research methodology and research design, re uh, research methods. No? So, ask yourself, no, what's the research question that I want to answer? What is the problem that I want to solve? Yeah. Then. What is the dilemma or the tension I want to resolve? What is the gap that I want to fill? Okay, uh, just answer the elements. Let's stop at this uh, particular point of slide. Let's continue because we are uh, down to. So I think that's uh, about 15, 15 slides that you have taken, or 15, 20, 20 50. But yeah, 15 slides that you have taken. So let's take a break here and let's continue this with another video. So in the meantime, watch this video and answer the elements. Uh, I have a. We I will post questions and activities regarding these video presentations about uh, the continuation of the research, pro research process. Okay, so if you have questions, comments, and clarifications, comment in our group GCs or PM at my uh, messenger account or text or mm, call. Just inform me uh, ahead. Okay, so that's it class. See you in the next video. Bye.